This table provides you with the costs of five textbooks of different subjects. Using this information, can you calculate the mean, median, mode and range of the data? We all know mean is equal to sum of all observations divided by number of observations. Using this formula, we can derive the mean of the values given in the table. The answer of this is 53. Let us also try deriving the range of this data by subtracting the smallest observation 46 from the largest observation 60. The range comes out to be 14. Now to find the median, let us arrange the data in ascending or descending order. Ascending order. We have learned that the observation in the middle of the range is the median of the range. Looking at the data provided, observation 54 is the centermost value and therefore it is the median. Also, we have learned that in a group of data, the most frequently occurring observation is called the mode of the observation group. Looking back at the data provided for the costs of the textbooks, you may see that each observation has occurred at most once. Do you think we can infer that all observations in this data are modes? Well, yes, they are. This brings us to the conclusion that a data set can contain more than one modes. Do you think the mean and the median also be more than one for a data set? Why don't you find that out by yourself? In this way, we have found the mean, median, mode and the range in the group of data shown. Next example, there are nine numbers provided. Of these 9, the mean of 4 numbers is 20 and the mean of the remaining 5 numbers is 25. Can you derive the mean of all the numbers? Friends, we know that mean is equal to sum of all observations divided by number of observations. We can also say that mean into number of observations is equal to sum of all observations. Considering this formula, sum of 4 observations is equal to 20 multiplied by 4 is equal to 80. Sum of 5 observations is equal to 25 multiplied by 5 is equal to 125. Therefore, the sum of all observations, 4 plus 5 is equal to 9, will be 80 plus 125 is equal to 205. Now, the mean will be derived as mean is equal to sum of all observations divided by number of observations. 205 divided by 9 is equal to 22.77. Let us look at an example for finding the mode of a set of data. As you can see, there are so many number of observations. Therefore, we will be using tally marks to find the mode. For this, we will first create a table. We will place the data in the first column, the tally marks in the second column and the number of digits in the third column. Let us go from left to right and make tally marks. Now pause the video and take a moment to think. Looking at the table, we can easily infer that both 7 and 4 have come at most 9 times. Hence, 7 and 4 are the modes for the provided data set. Today we saw some examples of how to derive mean, median, mode and range from a set of data. In the next video, we will learn about some mistakes and misconceptions related to mean, median and mode. Related to mean, median and range. Misconception 1. Find the range of data shown. Some children have the misconception that the largest figure or number in a group of data is called range. But this is wrong. Hence, option 1 will be the wrong answer. The difference between the largest figure and the smallest figure in a group of data 
is called range. That is, the difference is obtained by subtracting the smallest data from the largest data in the group of data. So, the range will be 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. That is, option 2 will be the correct answer. Misconception 2 Some numbers are given below. What is the mean of this group of numbers? Because of the confusion between the mean and the median, children think that mean is the middle number of the series of numbers, that is 33, which is option 2. But this answer will be incorrect. Mean is equal to sum of all observations divided by number of observations. Therefore, the mean here will be 28. Hence, option 1 will be the correct answer. Keep in mind that when given numbers are arranged in ascending or descending order, then the number in the middle is called median. Here, median is 33. While calculating mean, some children ignore observation 0. Like here, they think that they only have to get the mean of these 6 observations and they ignore 0. So, they divide the sum of these 6 observations by 6, which gives them the mean 32.66, which will be a wrong answer. Hence, option 3 will be the wrong answer. Now let's discuss some mistakes. Mistake 1 Finding the median incorrectly To find the median among these, some children find the median without arranging the data in order. Like here, they think that 9 is the median. But this is a misunderstanding. Only after arranging the data in some order can we find the median. Like here, the ascending and descending order will be The middle term in the observation is the median. Hence, 6 will be the median. Mistake 2. Now look at this group of numbers. Here the observations are in ascending order and the number of observations is 10. Some children divide the number of observation by 2 to find the place of the median. Like here, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So they think that the median is a number on the fifth place, that is 10, which is a misunderstanding. Keep in mind, that when the number of observations is even, then we get the mean of the two numbers in the middle as the median. As there are two numbers in the middle, 10 and 12, so the median will be 10 plus 12 divided by 2 is equal to 22 divided by 2 is equal to 11. So today we have discussed some misconceptions and mistakes related to mean, median and range.